In this video, we will give a simple demonstration of plotting surface slices, extracting them, and creating an XY line plot from the results. First, we'll open our dataset. In this demonstration, we are using the Onera wing example found in the TechPlot360 installation directory. We can toggle on the contour layer and display the pressure coefficient. Toggle on slices in the plot sidebar to place a slice on the plot. This isn't in the orientation or slice type that we want, so we will open the Slice Details dialog to adjust it. Instead of placing slices in the X direction, we'll set them in the Y planes direction, in this case parallel to the direction of the flow. Set Slice Through to Surface Zones. Then set the primary slice to Y equals 0 0.595. Before we extract a slice, we have a few options we will demonstrate. If you want to extract multiple slices, you can start and end slices with intermediate slices. But for this example, we will only extract the primary surface slice. In TechPlot360, we extract slices in order to create new, separate entities in our dataset called zones. Once these slices are zones, we can do further analysis, such as plotting or integrations or export the extracted slice. Now click Extract Slices and keep the default options in the dialog. We want the default slice group, but we could easily extract another group or all of them if we wanted. If we had transient data, we could choose if we want a single slice or the slice extracted through time. You can make extractions per slice or per connected region. Connected regions include zone boundaries, where the slice goes across multiple zones, and when a single zone has distinct regions, such as a wing with multiple sections. In our case, both of these two options will give the same result, since there is only a single zone and a single region. By default, TechPlot will attempt to extract the line as I-ordered data, but extraction as a finite element line segment format is also possible. Next, click Extract. Now, create a new frame and change to the XY line plot type and note the option of creating new mappings for all linear zones at the bottom, in this case the extracted slices. For the x-axis, we can select the x-axis variable or a normalized x variable. See our Getting Started guide for more information on computing a variable like this. And for the y-axis, we can select the pressure coefficient variable. We could name the xy mapping something more useful but we will take advantage of an intrinsic variable later in the mapping style dialog. The first thing we may want to do after the XY line mappings have been created is to reverse the Y axis direction by double clicking the axis in the plot or by selecting plot axis and toggling on reverse axis direction in the range tab of the Y1 axis. Now tile the frames so that they do not cover up each other. And now we have our XY line plot showing the extracted slice from the wing surface. I can change the line color to blue and also turn on the line legend. To change the map name to the zone name, in the mapping style dialog, we can right click on the mapping and choose zone name by double clicking on it. For more advanced information on how to perform other data extractions, check out our other videos linked in the transcript of this video. This concludes the tutorial on surface slice extraction. Thank you for watching.